Zero to Geek. Learning better is better. Every developer really wants to be able to build both web applications, um, games applications, stuff for the mobile device, stuff for the desktop. But really, traditionally, it was really hard to be able to jump shift between all these places. And really, the mobile world is even worse these days. If you take, for example, Apple, one of the leading mobile providers, um, wants you to code in Objective-C. Google wants you to code in Java. Microsoft wants you in .NET. BlackBerry's native language is C, C++. Is that really needed? Do you really need to hire a completely separate developer to build every single application? Or do you have to specialize in a specific device in a level where you become completely irrelevant if that device becomes irrelevant? You kind of get my point. Every single vendor, every single operating system really would love for you to work in their native language. But is that really your best option? If you really wanted to build an application that would work really, really well, really wickedly well on an iPhone, on an iPad, on a um, Galaxy S3, S4, on, on Samsung, um, on a Samsung device, on a BlackBerry device, on uh, Amazon's Kindle Fire, would you really want to learn the specific specificities of every single operating system? And the answer is obviously no. So how could you develop for mobile applications, making sure that your applications will run really well and be optimized to work really well on various different operating systems? And the answer is really simple. There are three different ways to develop, and we briefly talked about one of them, which was using the native language. The biggest disadvantage is known to you already, you would have to know a lot of languages. The other option is to build your application using HTML or HTML5 and wrapping it around in a wrapper and basically out uploading your application as a HTML wrapper. This is very common and very a lot of applications are built that way, but those applications are very limited, mainly because HTML was not really built to be a real full-fledged application. So the capabilities are very limited and it does feel like a website. Contrary to that, Real native applications just look a lot better and, and are more responsive and work in a much more um, fluid way. So is there a way in between? Is it only an HTML5 with a wrapper or a native application? And the answer is no. The most, the most popular option, by the way, one that is used by uh, the creatives, creators of Angry Birds and many other applications and games that are really wickedly successful, um, were built on top of Adobe Air. Let's talk about prerequisites. There are not many. The one and big one is you have to have Adobe Flash installed on your computer, so do install it. Um, and you should have a, a light background in programming. If you have more than light, even better. We're not going to be focusing on teaching you how to program, but we're going to teach you how to build your first mobile application. Um, in this title, we're going to see the workflow from zero all the way through a completely built application that will be then released onto the Google ecosphere um, into the Android ecosphere for that matter. Um, but everything we're learning here is completely viable also for um, BlackBerry and iOS. The only difference is, is in the end process of the publishing process itself, but the actual work itself on the development will be exactly the same. You're the same code, same application you could then use to then deploy onto over 6,000 application, uh, 6,000 devices and counting. So those are the prerequisites. Um, what we're going to learn in our course is very simple as well. We're, we split the course into four different segments. One, we teach you the, how to publish applications in the first section where we learn how to publish desktop applications. We learn how to, how to, de how to deploy Android applications that will go onto the Google Play Store and to onto the um, Amazon Store. We also look at how to deploy and how to build out applications that will be deployed out into the iOS ecosystem. Um, step number two is we're going to learn the first native thing that you need to know about mobile development in general, which will be section two. And section two is going to focus on um, device capabilities and focus on one of the most basic things is the layout and making sure that your layout is going to work well throughout the different devices. Section three, we're actually going to start building out our first demo applications and de demo application, our first mobile application, which will then deploy out in section number four, which will get it up all the way through until it's public on the Google Android marketplace. 
All right. So hope to see you in the course. I'm really excited about it. I hope you're excited as well. Um, um, so let's get started. Please subscribe to us. We love you so much. Please.